Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Itesh Dolakya, is going to explain you some examples based on multiplexer. So, in my previous videos even, we have solved some examples based on multiplexer. But here, in this session, I'll be, in, I'll be going to increase complexity of question. So, I'll raise a bar of question a bit more. So, first question is, So you can see here in question we have been given with one multiplexer circuit right and our agenda is to identify what is my output function f. So see when you have any question based on multiplexer first you will have to identify what are the inputs which is there with given circuit right and once you identify inputs you can easily be able to write output function based on selection line. So here if you observe terminal 0, so that is assigned with logic 0. If you observe terminal 1, so you see terminal 1 that is connected over here, so that is B. So here terminal 1 is B. And if you observe this terminal 2, so that is XORing of this two terminal, this is B. And if you observe this second terminal, so this terminal is A. So here we have A X or B at terminal 2. And if you observe this terminal, so that is having ground means it is assigned with 0. Right. So now we have all the logics which is there at input side. So we can now easily be able to identify what can be a Boolean expression function f. So this Boolean expression function f that will be when this a b is 0 0 at that time it will be a bar b bar. In this situation it will select line 0 so that is 0 so I need to say dot 0 plus when this a b is 0 1 at that time it will be a bar b that will select this line so this line is b so dot b that I need to perform. Now plus when this a b is 1 0 in that case we can say it will be a b bar in this situation it will select this terminal 2 which is a x or b. So a x or b means what it is a b bar plus a bar b plus when this is 1 1 in that case it will be a b it will select this line that is 0 so dot 0. So now here you can observe this is dot 0 this is dot 0 so both will get cancelled right. Now we need to simplify this further a bar b dot b so this will be a bar b only b dot b is b only right plus a b bar a b bar right. So that and then a b bar then a bar b right. So if you observe this so this is what a dot a that is a and b bar dot b bar that is b bar only. So we can say this is a bar b plus a b bar. Now you see here a a bar that will be 0 as well as b b bar that will be again 0 so this will be 0 so this is a bar b plus a b bar means this is xor operation so we can say this is a xor b right now i'll give you second question of this session so that will improve your understanding so my second question is So you see here we have been given with a circuit of 4 cross 1 multiplexer and we are dealing with to identify what will be mean term of this function. So here question is to identify mean term right. So at the end you will get to know how to identify that but first we need to identify what is a boolean function f right. So as I have told you. Whenever any question is there based on multiplexer, 
first we need to identify what are the inputs which is there with given multiplexer so here you see with zeroth terminal this terminal is connected over here so this is b so here we have connected b now this is b right and you see this is a a or b so this is a plus b and you see this is a so here a that is what directly we are giving this is a and b so that is and operation over here so a dot b that is how we have given this operation at terminal 3 now simply we need to write output expression so function f that is when a and b both are 0 0 means a bar b bar it will select line 0 so that is b so we need to say dot b plus when a b is 0 1 means a bar b it will select this line 1 which is a plus b plus when a b is 1 0 means a b bar it will select line 2 that is a so dot a plus when this is 1 1 at that time it will select line 3 and line 3 is again a b so dot a b now we need to simplify this so you see here b b bar so that is 0 plus let us simplify this so a bar b a plus a bar b b plus a b bar a so a dot a that is a so a b bar that i am writing and a b dot a b that is a b only now let us further simplify this so see a bar a so that is 0 this is a bar b b means a bar b this is a b bar plus this is a b right now we are deal with to write what are the mean terms which is there with this question right so here you see this is what a bar b means it is 0 1 so 0 1 means what it is term 1 you see this is a b bar means it is 1 0 so 1 0 means it is term 2 this is a b means it is 1 1 so this is what term 3 so here in terms of mean term we can write our answer as per summation of mean term 1 2 3 so this is what my answer in terms of summation of mean terms sometimes you will be finding answer may be there in terms of max terms so we need to write answer in terms of max terms now see how to identify max terms answer so here how many variables are there two variables are there right so what are the terms which is available to us so if you write available terms then you see here available terms are 0 1 2 and 3 these are available terms and out of these terms you see mean terms are 1 2 3 so your answer in terms of max term that will be complement of this so complement of this is what summation of pi so that is complement of this is what 0 so in terms of max terms your answer will be this right so i have seen this type of questions are even coming sometimes answer is there in some other form and you will have to translate that by having basic understanding of combinational circuit and boolean expression i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are motivating me and that is highly required as based on it in future i make videos which is helping students